Okay, dear students, let us uh, do this question. Let us see. Unpolarized light of I1 is incident on a polarizer. The light that passes through this polarizer then passes through the second polarizer. The second polarizer is now rotated to vary the intensity of the emergent light. What is the maximum value of intensity emerging from the second polarizer? So you have to find the maximum intensity in the terms of I1. So first of all, my dear students, as we have now seen in so many questions earlier, that this is how we show the unpolarized light. And if the intensity here is I0, it was I0 by 2. In this case, they have taken it to be I1. Whatever, they are just symbols. Okay, don't worry. This, when it passes through this, the intensity here, I'm just calling it I2 now. So I2 will come out to be I0 by 2. As a matter of principle, this doesn't change. The intensity after the first polarizer is always going to be 50%. No if, no buts. Like whatever be the axis of the polarization, vertical, horizontal, 45 degree, 30 degree. They're just going to um, confuse you. Like if we are going to rotate this polarizer, the intensity does not change. Yes, the axis of the polarizer changes. Like for example, here the axis is vertical. So the output will be vertical. If this was not vertical, let us say horizontal, intensity will be I1 by 2 only, but the output will also be horizontal in that case. But anyways, for our case, because it's not rotated now, in our case, the axis is vertical, so the output will be vertical here as per I2 is concerned, and I2 will be I1 divided by 2. Now, in the second polarizer, when a polarized light is going to hit the polarizer, we apply the Malus law that we have done. Now, I'm just calling it this as I3. So according to Malu's law, it is equal to I2 cos square theta. Now, I2 is the intensity that is incident on the, on the second polarizer. I3 is the intensity of the light that is going out of the second polarizer. Fine. So now we want to maximize this. How can this be maximized? Cos square. Obviously, uh, what is the maximum value of intensity emerging from the second polarizer? Uh, so... What will be the maximum density? That we are just varying theta now. So obviously we have to take theta such that the value of the cos square theta comes out to be maximum. And when it is maximum, obviously it is maximum at theta is equal to zero. When both of the axes are vertical, at that time it will be maximum. And afterwards it will start reducing itself. And it, when it becomes 90 degree, the intensity will become zero. Again it will go and it becomes 180 degrees Yes, the intensity at that time also in the magnitude will be maximum. So it means theta has to be equal to 0 degree only. There is no doubt about it. So intensity of I3 will be equal to I2. It means that all of the intensity that is impinging on the second polarizer is able to pass through it. So no part of the intensity is absorbed or deleted by the polarizer. So the maximum intensity possible will be I1 by 2. I1 by 2. So I3 is going to be equal to I2 and I2 is equal to I1 divided by 2 that has been shown here. So this is really very important and hence our answer for this question will be B. Let us see the answer from the mark scheme if that is correct. Well, yes, the answer is indeed B. So this is how we explain this question, my dear students. If you have any other further doubt you want to clarify, please mention that in the comment section. Um, so this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also share the YouTube channel with all your friends. All the best.